What's going on guys? It's your boy Adoptionism. I know it has been a good hot minute and I keep I'm I'm failing you guys as a as a YouTuber and stuff, but there's there have been a lot of uh really deep things going on in my life personally. Um and uh and, and I've just been needing to take care of that and take care of some other stuff. So I just wanted to go ahead and make this video. I know I'm kinda late compared to a lot of the other bigger channels and um but I still plan on making the, the same videos that y'all have seen with uh how to get the uh, outbreak prime you guys will see I'll be using it. Uh, I believe I use it in this video. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys how to get Outbreak Prime, how to, where to find SIVA fragments and stuff like that. I, I just, I miss producing content for you guys, and I like the way how I personally like to talk to you guys about it all. And I just really enjoy, uh, miss, uh, talking to you guys. So, uh, just to kind of give a little background or a little story on what's going on, uh, me and my girlfriend did, uh, break up recently, and, uh, and so I've just been kind of trying to focus on myself and, uh, also get a more, uh, steady steady job uh in the real world i mean yeah you, you got you, a lot of you guys but um yeah um so this gameplay actually is i, I actually kind of want to talk about this because i've actually been really excited um it's really awesome personally i think uh all the dlc that, that has come out the rise of iron like it just i thought it was gonna be a hundred percent focused on pvp which it's not um i do thoroughly enjoy all the new weapons um all the reskins uh kvostov's return i mean granted it's uh its perks and such aren't as great as I wish they could have been, but considering how much of an awesome looking gun it is and how fun it is to use and stuff, I do enjoy the different perks and stuff on it, which are really cool. The faster fire rate, the single burst, or uh, full auto fire. I think it's really cool to have like an OG, realistic military gun and have the different functions of that without it being like super sci-fi or all that crazy shit. It's really cool the way how they did that. And then of course we got Outbreak Prime, which was the most trivial weapon, or the most trivial thing when it came to, uh, when the Rise of Iron came out, and I'm glad a lot of people debunked myths and, and figured out, uh, stuff about it and such. It's awesome to just see how fantastic, uh, all, all this new stuff that they have in here. The only, the only thing that I would probably complain about, I mean, of course, this has kind of been with all the DLC, except Dark Below. Dark Below, I think, was the only one that didn't really do this, but the fact that this DLC it, again, it feels just like how some of the uh, the previous ones did, where it was just update here, reskin here, and it's like <laughs> somebody I knew um, actually said it's like taking a pile of shit and coating it in flowers and trying to say that it is flowers. I mean, I'm not gonna say that this is shit because honestly, I, since this DLC has been on or whatever, I've been grinding it just as much as I did when uh, Dark Below came out and uh, and Taken King. So I'm actually like really really enjoying this new DLC. I love the uh, the rate. The rate is so fun. And it granted, it's not that challenging, which is why I'm hoping that hard mode kind of has more of a challenge to it and also has a uh, something more unique and specific. I mean, I really, what I would really honestly like to see them do in this DLC um, whenever hard mode comes out or whatever, that there's an update to where they up the difficulty and they up the light level or they reskin all the uh, all the older weapons and give us back all those good ones that we just really miss like all of the vault of glass primaries those were phenomenal they were honestly probably my favorite ever and i'm pretty sure everybody everybody wants to like actually have fatebringer not just a mago loop fatebringer reskin bullshit i mean like actual yellow fatebringer because that thing was just it was awesome it was my first raid primary that i got in the game and you guys saw a lot of my older videos i literally just rocked that that hand cannon like the entire time almost almost all of year one i believe so uh using fate bringer on my hunter uh, another thing that i've also noticed too is that with all these new classes um it's actually become more relevant in the raids to have specific roles and classes for people like uh in uh wrath of the war machine you definitely want to have a uh, weapons of light bubble titan you also want to have a bow hunter um, and I mean th those are pretty much like the two necessities I would say or I mean they're not 100% necessary but it definitely makes it a lot easier uh, to take out the bosses and to deal with like all of the all of that stuff that, that you got to do when it comes to fighting and doing the different um the the battles and stuff with uh the bosses and the waves i think it's really cool i mean like i, I believe they even said that they didn't want this raid to be overwhelmingly challenging 
Um, cause I mean, Taken King, that one, it definitely took quite a few tries to kind of master the Oryx fight. And some people are going to be like, oh no, I picked it up on the first try. But I'm talking about in general, not, not specifically to you, but in general, the whole Oryx fight was actually pretty difficult to deal with. It's just really cool that, that Wrath of the Machine, I always want to say War Machine, I don't know why, but Wrath of the Machine is extremely, um, simple to grasp. Which, again, that's why, like, a lot of me and my friends, we've been kind of, like, theory crafting or whatever uh, our own ideas on how this uh, hard mode is going to be and what it may or may not possibly have for us. Honestly, it, it excites me. I can't, I can't wait to see what becomes more of it. Um, I really hope that because they did... Uh, some people are saying that this is supposed to be the last DLC. I haven't really been keeping tabs on it. Um, and if it is the last DLC, then that would suck. But I really hope that they still continue to like add on little bits and pieces here and there. Because on all three characters, um, I have... By now, I'm actually currently completing the Rise of Iron story on my th Titan, which is my last character. Um, I've completed the raid on all three characters week one um i've done the iron banner bounties and reached rank five on my hunter and my warlock uh it's just well again it, it's destiny you know the destiny grind it's either you're a grinder or you're a casual player and most of us that have been around for a while are all uh grinders no uh, <laughs> not not to make that sound weird at all but uh, I really hope that, that it doesn't die out and that it definitely stays um, as relevant as it did in the past. And I honestly, I really do hope that something more becomes of it. Uh, now, things that I would like to see uh, would probably be, and I know I'm going to get a ration of shit from my friends, but I honestly think in PvP... They need, like, they, they don't have to do this in PvP and PvE, but I believe PvP, they need to figure out, they, I mean, they've needed to figure this out for a while, but I, I don't see it changing. I'm just wishful thinking here. I I honestly believe that, that they should dumb down shotguns in in, in PvP. Like, the, the meta in PvP is just too shotgun heavy. Like, I, I, I keep telling my friend, I'm literally comparing it to people, like, this game for sliding shotgunning is the equivalent to Gears of War and uh, uh, wall bounce shotgunning. So I, yeah. All right, so yeah, guys, just let me know how you guys feel and think about uh, the new DLC and what you hope to see, what you hope doesn't happen, you know, just different different things like that. Uh, I Like I said, I'm going to be posting um, the videos, whatever, to try to get back into the swing of things, you know, I mean, I, I know, granted, it's already been done on the other channels, like I said, but I don't care, I, I honestly, I like producing things for you guys, and, and, and my voice, obviously, and my opinions and stuff about it, and I know a lot of you guys like to also hear about my raging and crucible and shit, because I don't fucking do Iron Banner, I, I don't do any of the, I, I'm terrible at, at PvP, but I do it just to get the free shit, <laughs> but yeah, guys, alright, I hope y'all, Enjoy your weekend. Hopefully I'll have uh, some daily uploads coming up. I am uh, going to be going to my new girlfriend's house uh, tonight. And we're going to be hanging out whatever. And I should be back tomorrow. So uh, who knows. Maybe I'll have uh, an upload scheduled for tomorrow for you guys. But until next time, I love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around as long as you have. And uh, until next time, it's been your boy Adopt. Peace the fuck out.